Okay, so the last thing we need to do with this model is triangulate it. So there's a lot of um, lines on this model that aren't required, a lot of um, edges. Now there's nothing wrong with triangulating your model. Um, as long as you um, don't have any triangles that are really long and thin and don't have loads of points coming off one point, loads of edges coming off one point. So this is easy enough to do. Um, we're going to get rid of this whole line here and um, what we do is just go around the model um, and if you hold down shift and right click and just go to delete edge. Um, in actual fact we can delete both of these two as well. And then if we hold shift and right click and go to the multi cut tool we'll just draw that edge onto there. So essentially this is going to save us a few tries. Uh, so this is another piece that we'll want to do this on. Um, so this time though we're going to right click, go to vertex mode, select a vert, hold shift and right click, go to the merge vertex tool and let's just snap these onto here. So sometimes this is a little bit quicker than deleting an edge and adding one back in. Obviously you need to make sure you go through and actually get all these. So this is an important stage because um, you can save a lot of vertices doing this. Um, also this phase is important because you might find the odd edge that you can delete out as well. Um, so yeah, I'm going to carry on just going into my Merge Vertex tool and just snapping these onto here. I'm just getting rid of any excess triangles that aren't required. Now. Um, the kind of thing that you will need to keep in is anything that's going to be maybe animated on the model um, or anything that affects your uh, your UVs. So anything like that you'll want to actually keep the topology in. Now there's not actually too much on this model. So we might be able to do thing or two with this. Uh, you're looking for any kind of points that don't affect the overall shape. So for instance, I should be able to, if this isn't actually affecting it, um, it depends though because you might use half and half of this texture. But certainly bits like this you can pull into the model like so. Just bear in mind if they affect the shape or you're going to need them for UVs then don't delete them. Now you can see some of my, my smoothing is being affected by this but that isn't the end of the world. I can easily fix that afterwards. So let's just hide unselected and we can carry on cleaning up our model. So we can see that these points affect the shape. This one doesn't know. Potentially we can even pull this across as well. And sometimes you might find little bits where you think actually I don't really need that, that stuff in there at all. So I've actually deleted some stuff out. So you can see I've got some erroneous 
reverts left over, so I should be able to just delete those out and then we'll click that together. Um, if you have any elements like this where it's not drawn in, you can just use the multi cut tool to click and click to draw those triangles in. I've probably even got a few more I could sort out, so this one here, drag that one to there, like so. Okay, so I think I'm kind of happy with that. Uh, with what we will need to do now is just do set normal angle. Let's redo the normals on that. Okay, so we've already triangulated that piece. That's already triangulated. Um, that might be it. Uh, yeah, so I think that's about it. That's the last thing to make sure you do, is just go around your model and just triangulate it, just to reduce down any kind of excess um, polys you may have in there. So the next stage then is unwrapping this model.